guys, it's Sadie and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the books I've rated 10 out of 10. Let's get into it. So the first book that I ever rated 10 out of 10 was One Day in December by Josie Silver. Now, I don't want to give you any spoilers because it's such a good book if you do decide to get this book, but it is pretty much about two best friends. One of them falls in love at first sight with this guy and she doesn't see him for like another year. But when she sees him again, everything changed and she can't be with him <laughs> it's frustrating but it's really good and it had me hooked and I couldn't put it down and I'm pretty sure I finished it in like a day so that is the first book that I've rated 10 out of 10 please go read this book I love it so much and then one day in December is 392 pages so it's easy it's easy the next book that I rated 10 out of 10 is the two lives of Lydia Bird This book ruined me. It ruined me. That's how, that's how I can explain it. It's pretty much about, <laughs> it's about a girl. <clears throat> it's about a girl who her fiance and best friend were in a car accident, but her fiance passed away in the car accident. She can't sleep after that. So she's prescribed sleeping medication. But when she takes the sleeping medication, she's transported to a world where he's still alive. If you need to cry, read this book. Trust me, this is such a good book. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird is the second book that I rated 10 out of 10. The Two Lives of Lydia Bird is 368 pages, a nice short read, it's really easy. The third book that I've rated 10 out of 10 is called Just Last Night by Mari McFarlane. It is about a group of friends and an accident happens. I'm not gonna tell you what the accident is or what happens, but it really opens your mind up to everything. It's deep, it's really deep, and it really touches on friendships. I didn't think that this book would actually be like that. I thought it would be like something completely different. It was so good. Yes, I highly suggest reading this book. It's just too good not to. This book is 393 pages, not bad. Not bad at all. The next book that I recommend is Hang the Moon by Alexandria Bellapur. It is about a girl and her best friend and she comes in to visit her and she comes in contact with her best friend's brother and she has to make a decision. This is a good one. It's like a really good feel-good friendship kind of novel. Hang the Moon is 364 pages, really easy, really short, just a nice day read. You won't regret it. The second to last book that I've rated 10 out of 10 is called The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. And it is about these two strangers who met in an elevator and he asks the girl to be his wedding date. This book really shows their story and how they are together and just everything. Read, read it, please. But yes, this is a very good book and it really opened my eyes to different types of relationships. It's really cool. And then this book is 310 pages. Again, very simple read. You could easily knock this out in a day. So yeah, read it. So this is The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. It's so good. It's so deep. It really shows, again, the characters' lives. It shows tragedy and love and adventure and building a family. It's nothing how I thought it would be. I was worried it was gonna be cheesy, you know, like other novels, like some of these. If you're into romance, this one, buy this one. It's so good and i'm not even going to tell you anything about it i'm just telling you that it's so good i love this book so much and again it's about tragedy and love and family and friendship and just coming together as humans and helping each other out but yeah such a good book highly recommend it and it's really it's a really easy read this book is 321 pages really simple you guys really simple it is my favorite book. <laughs> it just really shows how life is. It really brings out a lot of different emotions. This is my favorite book. Like out of all of these, this is my favorite. So thank you so much for watching. This was my showing you all the books that I've rated 10 out of 10. Let me know if you want any more book reviews. There will be more coming whether you like it or not. I love you guys so much. Again, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Any questions about books, any questions about these ones, any questions about a specific one. And DM me books that you want me to read and then review for you. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye friends. Bye.